Hi, welcome to Matt Pilates. All you'll need today for class is a yoga or a Pilates mat and then one set of light weights anywhere from one to three pounds. We'll get started lying down on our backs. So go ahead and lie down and set yourself up in any supine shape that feels nice. You can extend the legs long or you can have the soles of the feet together, the knees wide, or you can bend the knees and have the feet down. Any supine shape that works for you, just settle in, close the eyes down, and start by taking a nice, deep, cleansing breath. Slow inhale, fill up the lungs, and then open the mouth, exhale, let all the air go out of the body. Take a nice inhale and stretch the arms over the head, the legs long on the mat. And then as you exhale, hug the knees into the chest, give yourself a squeeze. You can rock side to side a few times to massage the lower back if that feels nice for you. And then bend your knees, bring your legs into a tabletop position, bring your heels together and your toes apart. As you inhale, take the arms up and over the head. As you exhale, curl the head and shoulders up, then tap the right toes down, back up, and then the left toes down, back up. So diamond toe taps. And then inhale, reach back. Exhale, curl up, tap right and up, tap left and up. Keep going just like that. Just a little bit of warm up here before we take the hundred. So inhale back, exhale up, tap it right and up, tap it left and up. So keep those heels together and the toes apart. Every time you exhale, see if you can get the head and shoulders a little higher off of the mat. Tap and up, tap and up. Reach back, curl up, tap and up, tap and up. Keep going, go at your own pace. We'll do this about three more times. So inhale back, exhale up, tap and up, tap and up. Two more, reach back, curl up, tap it right and up, tap left and up. Last time, back and up, tap right, and up, tap left, and up. Now bring your feet together, extend those legs to a high diagonal for the 100, point your toes, start to pump the arms. Big deep breaths, inhales through the nose, exhales out the mouth. Inhale, two, three, four, exhale, two, three, four. Inhale, two, three, four, exhale, two, three, four. Keep going, keep pumping those arms, press the lower back down. Nice deep breaths. Inhale, two, three, four. Exhale, two, three, four. Inhale, two, three, four. Exhale, two, three, four. Squeeze those legs. Last three breaths. Inhale, two, three, four. Exhale, two, three, four. Last two, two, three, four. Exhale, two, three, four. Last one, two, three, four. Exhale, two, three, four. And rest. Good job. Hug those knees into the chest. And then bring the feet down onto the mat, hip slip distance apart, and we'll set up for Pilates bridge. So hands down on the mat. As you inhale, lift up your hips to the Pilates bridge. Make sure you can still see your knees. You've got that nice long line from the shoulders to the knees. You don't want the chest puffing up too much. Keep the belly tight. As you exhale, scoop the belly and roll the spine back down nice and slow, one vertebra at a time. We'll do that twice more nice and slow. So push the feet down, pull the belly in as you curl the hips up. Exhale, curl the spine back down one vertebra at a time. One more round, nice and slow. Lift those hips up and then curl the spine back down and then go ahead and move through a little bit faster, taking the hips up and down for a lift and lower. Lift and lower, lift and lower. Just warming up the body here. If you want to add on a little bit more, you can always take the arms up, palms face each other, lift and lower. Lift and lower, lift and lower. 10 more, 10 and down for nine and down. Keep going, eight and down, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Good job. Take those hands back down by the hips, lift your hips up, lift your right leg to a high diagonal toes point. Keep the hips lifted the entire time. Just take the right leg down and up for nine and up, for eight and up, seven and up, six 
and up. For five and up. For four and up. For three and up. For two and up. Last one and up. Don't let those hips drop. I want you to lift up onto the ball of that left foot and do the same thing 10 times, keeping the left heel up. Let's go down and up. For nine and up. For eight, point your right toes. For seven and up. For six and up. Five and up. Four and up. For three and up. Stay with me. Two and up. One and up. Do not put the hips down. Put your right foot down on the ball of your right foot. So now the heels go down and up. For nine and up. For eight and up. Seven and up. Six and up. Five and up. Four and up. For three and up. Belly in two and up. Last one and up. Lower the heels down. Do not put the hips down. They're staying up this whole time. If you need to take a break, you can, but if possible, keep them up. Left leg to a high diagonal. 10 times with the left leg down and up. Down and up. Nine. Eight. Keep going. Seven. Six. For five. For four. Last three. And two. One more. Lift that right heel up. Same thing, down and up with the leg. Down and up. Nine and up. Eight and up. Seven, keep that left leg strong. Six and up. For five and up. For four and up. Last three and up. Two and up. One and up. Left foot down, keep those hips up. You're on the balls of the feet. Now the heels go down and up. Nine and up, belly tight. Eight and up, seven and up, six and up, five and up, four, last three, two, one. Heels down, curl your spine back down, rest. Really nice job. All right, let's set up single leg circles here. So take your left leg long in the mat, lift up your right leg, point your right toes. The hands can stay down by the hips, or if you wanna add on a little bit more challenge, you can float those arms up. But if you start doing your circles and the hips start to wobble around, put those hands back down on the mat. So the left leg presses down. If it's too much to have the left leg down straight, you can bend the knee and place the left foot down. Nice controlled circles with that right leg. Navel to spine, press the lower back down into the mat. Make sure you're breathing, do not hold the breath. Keep the right leg nice and long, toes point. Don't let those hips move, pull navel to spine. Close your ribs, tailbone heavy. Go ahead and reverse the direction of the circles, opposite way. Keep going, breathe. Almost there, just a few more rounds. Great job, finish your last one in the counterclockwise direction and pause. Curl the head and shoulders up, twist, take your hands in prayer, cross the thumbs, hover your left leg off of the mat, point the toes, and then take your arms all the way up and around to the left, twist and twist, twist and twist, keep going, twist and twist, twist and twist. Try to get both shoulder blades off of the mat, taking those arms in a nice rainbow arc up and over, twist, five, listen, four, three, two, listen, one, I want you to pause with the twist on the right side and now the right leg only is going to move down and up. 10 times, down and up. Eight, stay twisted. Seven, six, point your toes. Five, four, three, two, one. Lower the head and shoulders down. Take the hands by the hips. Place that right foot down. 
We'll set up the other side, single leg circle. So the left leg goes up, the right foot flexes, the right leg presses heavy into the mat. Again, you wanna add to your challenge, you can take the arms up and the palms face each other. If it's too much for you, just leave those hands right down on the mat by your hips. Start to draw those nice and controlled circles with the left leg. So think about having, if you know what a Pilates magic ring looks like, the circle should be no wider than that ring. So not big circles, nice and controlled. Close the ribs, tailbone heavy, keep pressing the lower back down and the right leg is also helping with the stability or the knee is bent and the right foot is down on the mat. Go ahead and reverse the direction of your circles, go the opposite way. Last one in the counterclockwise direction. Pause, curl the head and shoulders up. We're taking the same thing, second set. Take those prayer hands, cross the thumbs, hover your right leg off of the mat, twist outside of the left leg, and then up and over to the right, twisting left and right. Keep going. Really focus on pulling the lower belly in and up, keeping the head and shoulders off of the mat. Try to get both shoulder blades off of the mat. Last five, four, three, two, one. Pause with the left leg up and you're twisting outside of the left leg. We can't forget about this. The left leg goes down and up. Nine, eight, stay twisted, seven, keep going, six, five, Four, almost there. Three, last two, one, and rest. Lower that and shoulders down, lower that left leg down. Setting up for the roll up here, so flex both feet. Take the arms up and over the head, inhale. As you exhale, curl the head and shoulders up. Reach and dive for the toes. Inhale, roll back down, exhale. The arms can go right back over the shoulders or all the way up and over the head. So those are your two options. It's to start here or start with them back. And we'll go again four more times. So you curl the head and shoulders up. You reach and dive for the toes, getting full extension of the spine. You roll back down one vertebra at a time, either taking the arms over the shoulders or all the way up and over the head. Three more, curl head and shoulders. Press those legs down as you reach and dive for the toes. Roll the spine back down, take the arms up or all the way back. Last two. Reach, dive, extend, roll back down. Last one, curl, reach, dive, extend, roll back down. And this time we'll take a half round to transition. So curl the head and shoulders, reach and dive for the toes. Then pull yourself up to a tall spine. Take your feet a little less than the width of the mat. Flex the feet, legs engage, legs pressing heavy into the mat. Take the arms forward in front of you, palms facing each other. Don't let your spine hunch, keep a nice tall spine belly in. As you inhale, take the arms up and then take the arms back down, twist to the right, come back to center. Take the arms up and down, twist to the left, and then come back to center. Reach up, forward, right, and center. Reach up, forward, left, and center. Make sure those arms are engaged. They are turned on. No floppy arms. Really keep those biceps, triceps strong and engaged. Keep going. Up and down, left, and center. Flex those feet. Press the legs down into the mat, up and down, twist it right and center, take the arms up, shoulders away from the ears, left and center, one more round, up and down, twist it right and center, arms go up and down, twisting left and center, arms go up and down and then take your hands by your hips and close your legs. Point your toes, float the arms forward, hollow the belly and come into a C curve in your spine. Really zip up those inner thighs. 
This is not the C curve. This is the C curve. You really feel your abdominal muscles turn on. And then take your hands into prayer at your heart center. Take an inhale as you exhale. Twist to the right. Tap that right elbow back to center, to the left and center, to the right and center, to the left and center. Keep going right and center. Go left and center. Go right and center, left and center. Right, center, left and center. Five more, right and center, left and center. Last four, right and center, left and center. Three more, right and center, left and center. Two more, right, center to the left and center, right, center, left, center. I think we've got one more, center, left, and center, pull yourself to a tall spine, float those arms forward, flex the feet, hands by your hips, and scoot yourself towards the top of the mat for rolling like a ball. I might have given you an extra one in there, that's okay. Point your toes, bring your big toes together so they touch. Grab your shins from behind as you inhale, rock back just to the tips of the shoulder blades, and then exhale, rock back up and balance. The toes never touch the mat. Four more rounds, inhale back, exhale up. Three more, inhale back, Exhale up, two more, inhale back, exhale up, one more, inhale back, exhale up, pause here, we're going straight into open leg rocker, so straight the legs, grab your shins from behind, it's the same exercise but with straight legs, inhale rock back to the tips of the shoulder blades, exhale rock back up and balance, four more, inhale back, exhale up, three more, inhale back, exhale up, just two more, inhale back, Exhale up, just one more, inhale back. Exhale up, really nice, close those legs. Slide your hands down your shins, setting up for corkscrew. Hands by your hips, keep the toes pointed. Take those legs in a circle to the right, back around to center, then to the left, all the way around to center. Keep going just like that. Close those ribs, press the lower back down. Not an easy exercise, just do your best with it. Legs nice and strong. Make sure you're breathing. Take one more round to the right. One more round to the left. And then bend your knees, lower the head and shoulders down, hug the knees into the chest. All right, we're coming into series of five next, beginning with single leg stretch. So we never skip series of five. We're always gonna get this abdominal exercise, these five abdominal exercises here from the classical Pilates. Bring your legs into a tabletop position. Curl your head and shoulders up, setting up single leg stretch. Left leg to a high diagonal, hands grab onto your right shin, and then go ahead, switch out your legs, right and left, right and left. Toes point, try to get full extension of each leg. The head and shoulders off of the mat. Right and left, right and left. Keep going, right and left, right and left. Almost there, last five. Four, three, two, one, and rest. Good job, lower the head and shoulders down, and pause to breathe. And then we'll set up next double leg stretch, so legs to tabletop position. Curl the head and shoulders up, hands behind your head. As you inhale, extend those legs to a high diagonal, and as you exhale, scoop the arms in a full circle, hug the knees into the chest. Inhale to extend, exhale, scoop the knees into the chest. Keep going just like that, only taking the legs as low as you can go while still keeping the lower back down on the mat. Inhales to extend, exhale, full circle of those arms. Get all the range of motion. Here for another five, four, three, two, one, rest, lower the head and shoulders down. Slow down your breath if you lost it for any reason. We'll set up single straight leg stretch next. So both legs straight up to the ceiling or to the sky if you're in my situation. <laughs> Curl the head and shoulders up. Lower your left leg to hover. Grab your right shin from behind and then start to switch out those legs right and left, right and left. 
point those toes, no floppy limbs. So all the muscles in the legs engaged, right and left, head and shoulders up. Don't let the upper body do this. We're not doing this with the upper body. You keep everything stable. Those of you that have been doing this for a while, start to really work your form. Try to kick the leg out of your hands. Keep going. Right, left, five, four, three, two, one, rest. Lower the head and shoulders down. Maybe bring your feet down on the mat. Give yourself a little breather here. We've just got two more in series of five. Almost there, almost there. Double straight leg stretches next. So both legs straight up to the ceiling or to the sky. Hands by your hips. If you need to, you can keep the head and shoulders down. If it's too much on the neck to curl the head and shoulders up, just keep the head and shoulders down. Otherwise, if possible, curl the head and shoulders up. As you inhale, it's a slow lower down and an exhale right back up. Inhale, slow lower, just as low as you can take those legs while still keeping lower back down. Exhale right back up. All right, you wanna amp up your challenge? Take those hands behind the head. Inhale down, exhale right back up. Now listen, if you take the hands behind the head and you start to get a big arch in the lower spine, don't do it. Put the hands back down on the mat next to your hips. It's your decision. Keep going. Stay with it. We're here for another five, four, three, two, one. Rest. I know that one's a doozy. Rest. Good job. Breathe. Never lose the breath. We'll finish it off with the crisscross. Let's do it. Go ahead and bring those legs into a tabletop position. Curl your head and shoulders up. Take the hands behind the head, elbows wide. Left leg to a high diagonal. Tap the left elbow to meet the right knee if you can, and then switch it out. So now the upper body moves because we have added in the twist. Twisting right and left. Point the toes. Get full extension of the leg form. Very important here. Twist. Twist, twist, twist. Keep going. Twist, twist. We've got five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Woo, really nice work. Good job. You made it through the series of five. Let's take a roll up transition. Left leg long, right leg long, arms up. Curl the head and shoulders up. Reach and dive for the toes. Pull yourself up to a tall spine. Scoop those legs around. Plant your left hand, right hand. Step back, meet me in a high plank pose. Top of a push up. Pausing in this plank. Really get strong in your plank. So fortify your plank. Knit your ribs together. Curl your tailbone under slightly. You don't want this happening with the hips. You want your hips about in line with the shoulders. Press so much into the mat that there's a slight rounding in the upper spine. Spread the fingers wide on the mat. Gaze forward so that the neck stays in line with the rest of the spine. Keep pulling the belly in tight. From this plank, make sure you have your feet about hips width distance apart. Take that right knee, pull it across, tap the left tricep, step it back to plank. Take the left knee, pull it across, tap the right tricep, step it back. Keep going like that, tapping opposite tricep with the knee. Tap and back. Tap and back, tap and back, tap and back. We're here for five, four, three, stay with it, two, one, downward facing dog. Nice job, lift those hips up and back. Pedal out the dog, bend the right knee, bend the left knee. And just take a little reset here. Spread the fingers wide. Lengthen the tailbone towards the ceiling. Pull your lower belly in and up. We always stay connected to the core. So Pilates is all about connecting to the powerhouse, the center. So keep that belly in tight. From this downward facing dog, 
roll forward into a plank and then drop the hips down towards the mat so you're in what's called a floating dog sort of position here pressing into the balls of the feet shoulders away from the ears use that belly strength and exhale lift the hips up and back to down dog we are doing that four more times so inhale roll forward drop the hips down press the mat away shoulders away from the ears exhale to downward facing dog we've got three more inhale forward hips down exhale back up two more inhale exhale one more inhale and exhale take a breath in take a breath out and then walk the hands back to meet the feet roll up to stand nice and slow one vertebra at a time three times we will do a roll down and a walk out to plank so exhale scoop the belly roll the spine down inhale use it to walk out to your plank exhale walk back to the feet inhale roll up to stand and we'll do that twice more fully through so exhale roll down inhale walk it out exhale walk it back inhale roll up to stand just one more round exhale roll down inhale walk it out exhale walk it back inhale roll up to stand and then we'll meet in a plank pose so roll down walk forward to your plank this time take your feet to the edges of the mat so you are in a wide base plank really press into the balls of the feet here and i want you to engage the legs more keep the hips stable shoulder taps take that right hand tap the left shoulder place it back down take the left hand tap the right shoulder place it back down don't let the hips move so keep everything stable at the center focus on the core strength tap and down tap and down those of you that want to move through a little faster you can tap 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 we're here for 10 nine keep going eight press into the balls of the feet seven six five four almost there last three two one bring the feet back to hips with distance and meet me in a tabletop take those knees down onto the mat shoulders underneath your wrist let's take a few rounds of cat cow just to reset the spine inhale drop the belly arch take the gaze up exhale round press the mat away twice more inhale drop the belly exhale round one more inhale and exhale back to a neutral spine take your right forearm parallel to the top of the mat take your left hand and place it outside of your right hand so you don't want to fully lock out this left arm you want a soft bend in the elbow and the the hand is not directly underneath the shoulder but it's just there for support we're going to get a little bit more height this way in our left leg so take that left leg point the toes extend it to the back of the mat lift the left leg as high as you can get it up 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 then bend the knee and we'll take it into a fire hydrant lift it out and down so i want you to get that leg above the hip take it all the way up bend the knee fire hydrant out and down keep going three and down out and down four out and down we're doing 15 five out and down six out and down seven out and down eight out and down nine belly in out and down 10 out and down five more 11 out and down 12 point your toes out and down 13 out and down last two up and down out and down last one take it up and down out and down good job listen step the left foot back step the right foot back stack your feet come into a forearm side plank so I want you to keep that right forearm exactly as it is stacking open into a forearm side plank take that left hand behind the head belly tight single leg lifts with this left leg so lifting the leg up as high as you can get it and then all the way back down we're just doing 10 two 
three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Lower those hips down. Plant your left hand down. Bend your knees. Bring your feet together. So these little butterflies here, we're doing 20 of them. You may think it's a simple move, but you will feel it in the legs. So you start with the knees together. Don't let the feet come apart ever. Keep the feet together, the heels together. Close your legs and then open and close. Open and close. 20 of them. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Good job. 10, halfway, 11, 12, keep the feet together, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, last three, 18, belly in, 19, 20. Good job, lie down onto your stomach. Take your hands underneath the shoulders, feet a little bit wider than your hips, and we'll just start warming up the spine a little bit lift the chest up keep the gaze down so the neck stays nice and long and then lower the chest back down four more chest peels up chest goes back down three more lift the chest lower the chest two more lift the chest lower the chest one more lift the chest lower the chest now take the arms forward and lift up your head chest and shoulders keep the gaze down belly tight and then lower everything back down head chest and shoulders we'll do that four more times head chest shoulders up head chest shoulders down three keep the belly in four five six though we were just doing I, I lied we're doing ten of them seven eight nine 10, really nice job. Now we're doing 10 with everything lifting up. So legs and chest and shoulders and down. Two, keep the belly in. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. Child's pose to rest. Take those hands underneath the shoulders Hips back, knees wide, big toes touch. Breathe in your child's pose, a few cycles of breath just to reset. And we'll be doing all of that on the other side. So you'll roll forward to a tabletop. I'm going to flip around so you can see what I'm doing. So we'll meet in a tabletop. Take that left forearm parallel to the top of the mat. The right hand down so you have a soft bend in the right elbow. The right leg extends back to the back of the mat to begin. Lift it up as high as you can get it, as high as you can. Then bend the knee, pull it in next to the left knee, and then go ahead for that fire hydrant out as high as you can and down. So take it up, down, out, and down. That's two. Up, down, out, and down for three. Up, and down, out, and down for four. Up, we've got 15 out and down that's five lift down out and down that's six up and down out and down seven up down out and down that's eight up down out and down nine up down out and down that's ten up and down out and down eleven up down out and down, that's 12, three more. Down, out, and down, two more. Take it up, go down, out, and down. Last one, up, and down, out, and down. Good job, now take that right foot to the back of the mat, take the left foot to the back of the mat, stack your feet and roll open into that forearm side plank. Keep the left forearm exactly where it is. Take that left hand behind the head. Single leg raises, 10 of them with the right leg. Lift it up as high as you can. Put it back down. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 
10. Lower those hips all the way down. Take your right hand in front of you. Bend your knees, setting up for those butterflies. If you need to adjust yourself a little bit, no problem. Bring those feet together, keep them together. Take that right knee, lift it up, keep it as high as you can, but keeping the feet together and down. We're doing 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14. Keep the belly tight, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, Five, four, three, two, one. Good job, lie down onto your stomach. I'm just gonna flip around so I'm back at the top of my mat. Lie down on your stomach. Again, take the legs a little bit wider than your hips. Make sure your gaze stays down, so never arch the neck, keep the gaze down, belly tight. Goal post your arms and lift up your head and your chest and your shoulders. We'll start with just some little pulses here, puffing the chest up, up, up. For 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, keep the head, chest, and shoulders up. Keep the gaze down, point your toes. Swim the arms back so the palms are facing in towards the body. Lift up your right leg, put it down. Lift up your left leg, put it down. Keep going right and down, left and down. We've got eight more, right and down, left and down. Seven more and down, left and down. Six, left and down. Five, lift the head, chest and shoulders higher. And down, four, left and down. Keep going, three, left and down, two, left and down, one, left and down. Good job, lower the head, chest and shoulders down. Take your hands under your shoulders. Child's pose to stretch out that spine. Rest, shift the hips back, forehead to the mat. Breathing nice and smooth. From child's pose, when you're ready, rise up to a tabletop pose. Tuck the toes, we'll meet in a downward facing dog. Lift the hips up and back. Walk the hands back to meet the feet. Little bit of a rag doll here. Grab opposite elbows and sway side to side a few times. Just let the upper body be heavy. Then roll up to stand one vertebra at a time, nice and slow. Feet about hips width distance apart at the back of the mat. Taking some lunges here. So float the arms forward as you step the right knee forward, lower the left knee down, and then I want you to spring back to that start position. We're doing just the right leg. So we've got nine more of those. Step forward, spring back. Eight, seven, Six, five, four, three, two, one. Now step forward to that lunge shape. Stay with me, take the arms up, lean forward and stand all the way up to balance with the left knee into your chest. Take the arms forward in front of the shoulders. Take that left knee out to the left, and then back to center. Out to the left and back to center. For eight, seven, six, tall spine, five, four, keep going, three, two, one. Take the left ankle, cross it in front of the right. Let's do a Pilates transition. All the way down to your seat. Setting up for seal pose. Very similar to rolling, I shouldn't say pose, this is not yoga, this is Pilates. Seal is an exercise. <laughs> it's very similar to rolling like a ball, except for seal. Take the arms, thread them inside the legs, wrap them around your shins and grab your ankles. Bring your big toes to touch, just like in rolling like a ball. 
clap the feet three times. One, two, three. Rock back, clap. One, two, three. Rock up, clap. One, two, three. Let's do four more. One, two, three. Rock up. One, two, three. Three more. Rock back. One, two, three. Rock up. One, two, three. Two more. Rock. Rock up. Last one. Rock up. One, two, three. And release. Good job. Scoop your legs around. We'll meet in a down dog. Step back to plank. Lift the hips up and back. So if you struggled with that exercise, no worries. It just takes practice. From down dog, walk the hands back to meet the feet. Roll up to stand and let's do that other side. So we'll do the left leg now. Starting with those lunges and the spring back. So sweep the arms forward, step the left foot forward, tap the right knee down, spring all the way back up. Nine more, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Left foot steps forward, find that lunge shape, pause, take the arms up, lean forward, use your core, stand up to balance, pull the right knee all the way into the chest. There we go, press into the big toe mound of that left foot, bring the hands forward in front of your shoulders, nice strong arms, take that right knee out to the right and center, out and in. For three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, ten. Right ankle in front of the left. Pilates transition all the way down. Set up for teaser. Lie down onto your back. Legs into tabletop position. Arms up and over the head. Inhale. As you exhale, curl all the way up into your tall teaser. Straight the legs. Get those arms parallel to the legs if you can. Then roll back down, arms up and over the head, legs back to tabletop. We'll take four more. Exhale up, inhale down. Two more, uh, three more, excuse me. Exhale up, inhale down. Last two, exhale up, inhale down. Last one, exhale up, inhale down. Good job, hug the knees into the chest, give yourself a squeeze, and then we'll take a roll up transition, left leg long, right leg long, arms up, curl the head and shoulders, reach and dive for the toes, scoop the legs around, grab your weights, and we'll do a little bit of work with the weights before we finish off with Pilates push-ups. So, first exercise, bring your heels together, heels together and keep them together and stand on your knees. Grab your weights, Keep the belly in and keep a tall spine. So as we do this exercise, make sure the spine stays nice and tall. Don't curl the spine, keep it tall. Belly in. As you inhale, lean back. Take the weights to shoulder height and then exhale all the way back up. We'll do 10 of them. So inhale back, exhale up. That's nine, eight, seven, Six, keep that spine tall. Five, four, almost there. Three, two, keep those heels together. One, nicely done. Take the weights down, flip over onto your back. So we'll finish our weight block off on our back today. Lie down on your back. Feet hips width distance apart, setting up for a Pilates bridge with an overhead press. So take the weights wide, goal post your arms as you inhale, stay. As you exhale, lift the hips, touch the weights above you. Inhale back down. We've got 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, Three, two, one. Take the waist to the chest for a moment. Pause to breathe. Take the arms straight up above you so the weights are over the shoulders. Lift up your hips to a Pilates bridge. Take that right leg to a high diagonal. 
As you inhale, lower the right leg and the hips, the weights go over the head, and then as you exhale, right leg up, the weights go up. We're doing 10. Nine, eight, keep the belly in, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Keep the weights up, put the right foot down, curl your spine down, and let's go right into the left side. So the hips go up, weights over the head as the left leg goes down, and up, lower the hips down. So go dat back, and up, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Left foot down, lower the hips down, good job. Just plates the weights down off to the side. We'll take a figure four stretch here. Right ankle crosses over the left knee, flex the right foot, and pull your left leg in towards the body. Just a nice little hip opener here. Slowing down the breath. Make sure your right toes are angled to the right, protect your knee. And then we'll switch sides, left foot down, right foot down, left ankle crosses over the right knee, interlock all 10 fingers behind the right thigh, pull the right leg in, keep your left toes angled to the left. Great, good work everyone, we're almost there. Bring that right foot down. Let's take a roll up transition. Left leg long, right leg long, arms up. Curl the head and shoulders. Reach and dive for those toes. Pull yourself up to a tall spine. Scoop those legs around. Plant left hand, right hand. Step back to a plank pose. Meet me in a downward facing dog. Pedal it out, right knee, left knee bends. Pause in stillness. Lengthen the tailbone to the ceiling or to the sky. Walk the hands back to meet the feet. Roll up to stand. And we'll end with a round of Pilates push-ups to finish everything off. So start with your roll down. Walk out to your plank. Knees up or down, your choice, three push-ups. Not fast, nice and controlled, very slow. Try to keep the elbows next to your ribs. And press back up, down and up. One more. Lift the hips up and back to down dog. Walk the hands back to meet the feet. Roll up to stand. And then give yourselves a round of applause. Great, good work, you're done.